Hey there, I'm excited to share this little pro tip with you. Uh, main reason being is I absolutely love it when people email me and they say, hey, I've called Infusionsoft and they tell me this can't be done. Uh, do you know of any way that it can be done? And uh, I love these little challenges because oftentimes there is um, a hack uh, that you can employ or some workaround uh, or sometimes it just requires a little bit of creative thinking uh, to actually come up with a solution and get Infusionsoft to do uh, what you want it to do, which it may have not been meant to do out of the box. So here's a question from uh, one of uh, my loyal followers that came in today and uh, we'll jump to a screen share right now where you can see exactly what the question was and how we're going to solve this problem. Okay, so here's the question that's come into my inbox today. Uh, I have a client who has a franchise model, so to speak, and they send email marketing on behalf of dozens of different store locations, all who have their own email headers. I wanted to find a way to send an email broadcast to all the different stores that used different headers for each store, kind of like treating a header as a custom field and merging it in. Do you know of any way of doing this? I was told by the Infusionsoft guys that it can't happen any ideas you've got are welcome. Well, of course this can happen, um, and many of you may already know this solution, um, but let's just dive into Infusionsoft and I'll show you how it works. So the first thing is to go into your admin area of Infusionsoft and set up a custom field. In this custom field, we're going to set it up to contain the URL of the image for the email header so that we can swap out that image um, depending on where the person is coming from or in this case which franchise they're associated with or whatever. So, so here's the custom field that I've created, email header image URL and I've created it as a website type so that I can put a URL in there and it can get URL encoded and everything will be just fine there. The next step is we need to create action sets for all of our different franchises or the different um, you know, entities or whatever that are being represented by these different email headers. Uh, so you're going to go to CRM settings and go to action sets. So here are action sets and uh, you can see that I've created one to set email header A, one to set email header B, and one to set email header C. So if we edit these you'll see what I've done. Uh, what I've done here is I've used the um, set a field to a specific value. So this drop down here, set a contact field to a specific value. I've used that option and then I've chosen that custom field that we created, email header image URL. And what I've done is I've plopped in here the URL of the image for header A, the header for business A. And I did the same thing for header B and header C. So these are all different URLs. And how do I get that URL? Well, I'll show you. Uh, the easiest way is to actually go into the campaign builder. We'll go into the campaign that I've built to show you this whole thing. Once those action sets are built, then you can come into your campaign builder. Uh, but ignore what you're seeing now and let me just show you how I uh, came up with those URLs. So uh, we'll just throw another email on here. Inside this email, uh, what I've done is I've uploaded the email header images that I want. Uh, so you can see them here email header A, email header B, email header C. So to get the URL for email header A, I just select that and I insert it here. And then I go into um, email preview mode. And then I right click on the image and I just say copy image URL. So that gives me the actual URL of that image. If I paste it into a browser, uh, it's just going to load up that image. Um, and so I can get that one and then I can uh, close that out and go get uh, image B, same thing. So there's a blue one, a red one, and a black one. They say business A, B, and C on them. And uh, so I can go preview on that one and then right click here, copy image URL, and test that. Sure enough, loads that image, all set. Um, so I do that with all three of those and put those into the action sets um, to set the contact field value of that custom field to that URL. Okay. Now what we've done here is, um, what I've done is I've simulated basically three different businesses or franchises or however you want to do it. Um, in this case they're filling out a form. Obviously you could be using tags or whatever you want to segment these people. Um, so we're just going to assume that they're going to fill out forms at these different businesses. And in here we're running those action sets. So when they fill out the form for business A, we're running an action set 
and then here we're going to run the action set called set email header a so that's going to run that action set inside the custom field for the email header image URL it's going to put the value of the image uh, the the URL for header a okay and uh, same thing inside business B run the action set and we're gonna set it to be the image for business B and same thing for C we run the other action set there so when people go through this they will now have a custom field that has the URL of the image that they're supposed to get in the email so now we can just have one email inside this email instead of having a header image here what we do is remove the header image and then use an HTML snippet. So drag this HTML snippet and make sure it's in this header area up here. The way you can tell is, see how those dotted lines stretch all the way to the edges of my email? Then I know it's in the header area. If I drop down into the body of the email, it now has uh, a margin on the side. You can see a little, a little you know, 15 or 20 pixel margin there on the side. So as long as I have it up in the top, it's going to stretch all the way to the sides, and that way my image will stretch all the way to the top or to the left and right sides of my email. So uh, I'll let go of that, and then I'll cancel that one out because I don't need an extra one in there. I've already got one in here. So we'll double click and open this up, and you'll see what I've done is I've just created a very simple HTML image tag, and in the source, instead of putting an HTTP colon slash slash and the URL for an image, I'm using the merge field to merge in that custom field email header image URL which is going to merge in with the value of the image that we got from those action sets so let's just test this out to make sure it works go back here and I'm just gonna test this by filling out the form as a test okay so I'll select myself for the test I'll hit submit it takes me to a generic thank you page that's fine now I'm going to refresh our campaign here just to watch the progress and make sure it's all working. Um, so it must have already gone through this sequence here where it sets the URL uh, correctly and then now it's in the sequence to send me the email. So let's jump over to my inbox and check my email. So here's the email here that has just come in. If I click on this and I display images, you'll see that I get business A as the header which is exactly what we wanted because I filled out the form for business A so let's delete that one and go back and test one of the other forms now we'll test business B I'll fill out this form submit generic thank you page we'll go back to my inbox now so now I've got that second email that has come in We'll test that one, display images, and now it has the header for business B. And of course, if we went and tested business C form, uh, then it would come through with the header for business C. So that's how you do it. Obviously, there's many different ways to employ that versus just putting people through a web form. Uh, but as long as you can identify which franchise or which branch of your business or whatever that they are associated with, uh, then you can put them into a sequence where you use an action set to set that custom field value with the URL of the image and then merge that URL into an HTML snippet to create a dynamic email header. So there's the answer to the question. It's definitely doable. And thanks again for asking the question.